Hi, it's Bob with HeCooksForMe.com. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're putting together our New Year's Day uh, dinner. We like to eat pork on New Year's Day because it's supposed to bring you good luck throughout the year. So today we're going to put together a rack of pork and then we're going to serve it with drunken apples and some green beans with shallots and Parmesan cheese on them. This video will be about the drunken apples. We're going to use four apples. Granny Smith are great for this. We happen to just have uh, John and Gold's on hand, so we're going to use those tonight. And then we're going to use ground cinnamon. This is a quarter teaspoon, a half a cup of brown sugar, four tablespoons of butter, and then right at the end we'll put on two tablespoons of cognac. To get the apples ready, we're just going to quarter them. And then you cut out the core, so you cut just underneath the where the seeds are and then you just thin slice them. So that's how you get your apples ready. We've melted the butter now, so we're ready to start putting the apples in. I'm gonna stir in, this is our cinnamon and our brown sugar, and get that mixed in pretty good with the, the uh, butter that's going. Get that brown sugar all softened up as well. And then I will throw all of these apples in over the top of it and we'll just cook them until they're getting soft. So these will just go in right now. For these apples, it's gonna take probably 20 to 30 minutes of simmering them for them to get softened. You wanna stir them in so that they get all of that butter and sugar all over them. And it really helps to use a wooden spoon with this because it doesn't cut them up as you're stirring. I've got those stirred into that butter now. We're gonna cook these on a medium low heat, probably a three or four for the next 20, 30 minutes. Our apples have been simmering for about 25 minutes. They're really softened up now and uh, coated really good with that butter and sugar. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our two tablespoons of cognac. Stir it in and we'll uh, turn it down uh, even a bit lower to just let that simmer and really cook in well. To plate our meal tonight, I'm just gonna take one of those pork chops And then I'm going to cover it with some of the drunken apples. And then these are those green beans with the shallots and the Parmesan cheese. You can see how that cheese melted all into that. It makes a really nice flavor. And then Renee decided to mix up some mashed potatoes as well. So we'll just put those on the side down here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and consider hitting that red subscribe button. It really helps if you can share my videos with friends and family that might be interested, or watch some of the other videos on my channel. I hope this dish, or one of my other featured dishes, finds its way into your kitchen soon.